Finding the right clothes for travel when you're a wheelchair user is notoriously difficult. It's easy to default to those slouchy clothes, but what if you want to be comfortable and look good? Keep watching because we have got three gorgeous, stylish outfits for you. Welcome to Roll With Style. And we're here. Today is the first episode. It's all going to be about travel. So today, I'm going to use Marks and Spencers only to show you different ways of travelling, but in style. I'm going to explain to you the different reasons for me selecting these items, so hopefully it can give you some inspiration and stuff to look out for when you're thinking of your travel outfits. Now, when you travel, it should be comfortable, but there's no reason why you can't look chic at the same time. So we want to make an effort, but we want it to look effortless. So hopefully these will give you some ideas, items that I've put together, look space for her, but definitely can be used for other people. So I've chosen two different types of shirts from Marks and Spencers. One's more of a formal shirt, one's a looser fit, softer shirt. So there's two different styles for you to choose from. I suggest the smarter, more structured, tailored shirt as it's fitted. Um, it's going to look super smart, it's also quite lightweight, but other people may prefer like a softer cotton and a more relaxed fit. Both of these are great options to go with these pink trousers. This shirt just smartens this outfit up a little bit. We wanted something a bit more tailored and this blouse is made of soft cotton, so it's very comfortable on the skin and it has a soft collar and this open v-neck and the buttons do work and the cuffs are just rolled up with buttons there so nothing's going to get caught. This outfit is just really comfortable and really practical for travelling in. This shirt just makes this a little bit more of a formal outfit. If you wanted something a bit more tailored. I am uh, wearing size 14 because I am a 32 double G in the bust so I've sized up to a cup of comedy in the bust so it's a bit bigger um, around my waist it's not as fitted um, which I don't mind at all it also has what I call modesty buttons so they have an extra set of buttons that you can stitch up so it doesn't gape so you cannot gape this uh, shirt so if you did want to size down so that it was more form fitting you could, I'm definitely not going to get gaping across your chest um, also roll the sleeves up because when they are longer they will be touching my wheels. This is how they look rolled down and uh, you might prefer that. I prefer a rolled up sleeve um, mainly because then it's not touching the wheels. Um, when you roll, if everything that's here tends to touch the wheels and um, with it being a white shirt I know that can get really dirty really quickly so I roll the sleeves up but I do think I prefer the way that it, it looks, it's a little bit more smart, it's a little bit more, possibly a little bit more me. Yes, I do like both of them for different reasons. I have gone for a longer length of the trousers, so they sit on the shoes. I haven't sized up in the waist, so it is, it's a little bit tighter. They're not a small scroll, but I am feeling it in the waistband. Consider sizing up all between sizes. This is a really nice silhouette very comfortable, very casual. I decided to choose these earrings as well. Give you a little um, close up. These earrings are also from Marks and Spencers. They're 15 pounds. Lovely, dangly. Mm, I was gonna say shocking earring, but they're not shocking. <laughs> statement, statement is the word I'm looking for. They complement this look really well. You can imagine my shirt, Statement earring. These earrings would work with so many people, but it's nice to add this little feminine touch to this shirt. Also, being that they're black and a sort of off-white colour, they really work with this running stripe that runs down the edge of these trousers. So these are sort of sporty. This is definitely more of a masculine look, but having this little detail brings it back to being feminine. I hope you like. I absolutely love these earrings. I think that they really bring something. They bring out the stripe in the trousers and they just really add an edginess to the whole look. Because it would be easy if you're just wearing 
essentially jogging bottoms to feel a bit frumpy and I definitely don't feel that with these earrings, they just take it up a notch. Okay, look number two, I've opted for this leopard print number. Really easy dress. There is no fuss to it. You can just whip it over your head, pull it down and it's ready. It looks like a wrap dress, but it's actually not. It's got this cute little belt, which will cinch you in at the waist. It's really simple, it's really like fabric, so for traveling and ease. And it's also not too long. Once you're seated, it's not gonna to be too long and just simple. These, this print is great, adds a bit of pizzazz to your outfit, especially if you like a bit of animal print. And I think it's not too garish. This is £29.50, we can add either a trainer or the weight, because I know that these shoes would work with all the outfits that I suggested. Super comfortable, but super chic. Suede wedge, matched with these. This is great. Or the trainer, which has got a little bit of leopard print on, so that's going to really work if you prefer it. Then we're gonna add our accessory. This gold rope detailed knotted tight. This is um, £15 from Marks. And then these earrings. Another statement earring. This will also match with the suede shoes. They're so cool, super chic. So if you love leopard print and you like simple, easy dresses, this is great. Um, we're adding the earrings and still wearing trainers. It still makes it like effortlessly chic. You're going to be comfortable, you're going to look stunning. This print isn't something that I normally would have gone for. However, I think it flatters my uh, skin tone really well, so it's always good to try things, try new things, because you don't always know what will or won't suit you until you try it on. And um, I'm actually really enjoying wearing this animal print. One of the other things I really like about it is it's very stretchy, so it's really, really comfortable. It's just a pull over the head, it's got a self-tie belt here, which is really sweet. And my top tip, you'll hear me say this a lot, I bought the long, now I'm only five foot four, but I bought this in a long because I wanted it to sit true to where it would if I was standing. And when you're sat down, the fabric gets taken up by the, the shape of your body as you're sitting. I really like the, the V-neck, I think it's very flattering. This is really comfortable to travel in because there's no tightness anywhere at all. Even the sleeves are nice and comfortable, not too tight. They're not loose either, so they're uh, perfect. Um, yes, I'm really enjoying this. And I love the jewellery. Um, I really, really like these statement earrings. I think it elongates the neck. Um, it also balances out the proportions because You've got the big bulky wheelchair down here. So by putting on uh, something like a statement earring, for example, draws the eye upwards and away from just basically your wheelchair. Um, and it just gives a more balanced look. So I'm really enjoying this look. Next up, probably my favorite look. Very simple, but also very effortlessly chic. I found these amazing trousers on Mark Suspenders. They are really quite thick but they feel incredible um they're mainly polyester but they've got elastic and a bit of spandex in them so they're gonna have a stretch and sit you sit on you nicely because they're so thick they're gonna cover all lumps and bumps also being high-waisted and having pockets the pockets being tailored nicely aren't that they're not gonna gape too much when sitting down um also they come in a different length lengths I love these. The colour is super chic, £39.50. So they are a bit more expensive than other things that I've chosen, but I think these will last you a long time. It's such a nice colour and cut. Now teaming it with is just a simple vest. Unfortunately, the vest that I wanted to get on my suspenses was sold out, so I've just opted for something that I have at home. You yourself should have vests at home, just simple white basic ones. If you don't, please go out and grab some from any sort of high street, Mark Suspensers, Uniqlo, H&M, Zara, because you do need white vests in your wardrobe. It's an essential piece. So that's quite a cool, chic 
um, outfit, but we need to up it a little bit. We can do better. So next I'm going to be introducing the accessories. So I chose these really cool pieces. This tortoiseshell necklace, really nice. That's going to really look great on a neckline with just a vest. And look how cool this is. A resin bracelet in green. This is £18.50. This is £18.50. Look at that. That's going to look so nice with just a simple white vest. This on your neck. It's going to bring the outfit together. I only bought two pairs of shoes for Marks and I've used them for every look. So you could do the wedge again. These are so versatile. And like I said, comfortable. Have this green color, so it's got pops of green in this look as well. Or a classic trainer, which ideally you should have, but if not, definitely something to look out for. Now, last but not least, the final stage of this outfit. Now, if like me, you feel the cold, especially on airplanes, and the aircon gets to you. Adding this final layer, look at this gorgeous colour. It's definitely more of a sagey green, but it's just stunning. £17.50 from MS Collection, super soft. Fold it over slightly at the top, and then wrap it round your shoulders. You can just wear it loosely over that vest. You've got the element of green on your wrist. Such a nice look with the white. And then when you get cold on the aeroplane, quickly put on your jumper and feel a bit warmer. I love this. It's just everything you would need. Trousers, simple vest, and a little throw layer. Adding the earrings and heels to definitely make it a little bit more chic. Especially if you're doing a city break and you're intending on getting off the plane and getting straight out, you're ready to go in an outfit like this. This look is probably my favourite and I hope you like it too. This is a really comfortable outfit. First of all, I lay it up with this gorgeous jumper and I'm just wearing the best top. The trousers look like tailored trousers but actually they have completely elasticated waist. I have sized up in the size and also gone extra in the length so that they sit on my shoes and so that the elasticated waist doesn't dig in. So I'm usually between a 12 and a 14 and I'm wearing a 14 and the elastic is sitting on my body but it's not pulling in tight at all and Make sure you think about getting an extra length so that the trousers sit on your shoes because the body takes up more fabric as you're sat down. I really like the necklace. I think it draws the tension up away from the, the wheelchair and it just balances the whole look out. So I'm really comfortable and confident in this outfit. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. We'd love to know if any of these tips have been useful for you and which outfit was your favourite. Let us know in the comments. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of content. And we will see you in the next video.